people, anybody that is out there, particularly with access media, who would dare try to run with that fake ass narrative of, well, it's our fault if Agatha doesn't do as well or if um, the acolyte doesn't do as well or it wasn't made for you. Why are you talking? OK, cool. That's what I'm saying. Because, look, I'm a I'm a capitalist at the end of the day. Right. So for me, results are results. How and I and I'm, I'm I humble myself in that regard. Like so, it's like I can totally un- accept that. Hey, there's this thing that maybe I'm not that fond of, but other people are. That thing got a return. That thing is successful. My opinion on that does not supersede those that um, that project or that thing being successful. Taylor right? Swift. That's another one. Yeah, not a fan. That's not my thing. Um, but. I'd be a damn plum damn fool if I'm like, well, Taylor Swift isn't successful as a musician. So it's the same thing here. It's like if you guys just showed up, nothing I say matters, nothing I says matter, nothing anybody says matters that is saying, OK, well, this is goofy or whatever. None of that matters. It's completely irrelevant if the results speak for themselves and Disney's uh, plus subscribers are happened by the uh, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, uh, and people are just dying to see this and acolyte and whatever is going to uh, come after that. But they're not. So you can't blame us. Blame your fucking selves, man. And that's the beauty of, of, of individualism. That's the beauty of capitalism, because maybe that isn't for, for myself, but you can act with your own dollar. You can vo- act voluntarily with your own dollar, with your own viewership. Uh, so the time, that's fine. And go get go, go get your dub, but that's always been the question that I pose back to those that get that have been angry with me when I've said something about like a Captain Marvel. And I always stuck to the subject with a Captain Marvel. That's when I get lumped in with these people. I did I wouldn't look at the data the other day. Believe it or not, I asked I only did two videos on Brie Larson. Hmm. That's it. I did two videos and one wasn't even like necessarily about her it was about what someone said that i should how i should be acting in the regards to to her it wasn't about her her like her as a person so i was i was keeping it to the topic but despite me having that it's like well captain marvel is for these 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 women girls need to be seeing themselves the little girls are finally seeing themselves as heroes in this uh extravagant universe because captain marvel is the first female everything ever uh, uh ever. First female, <laughs> Just, ever yeah for yeah actually captain marvel brie larson was the first official female uh mm-hmm. to ever exist in anything but no seriously that's what they would say and look it made a billion dollars um i know some people question those numbers because they look at some of the you know their own experiences like well i was there day one and i didn't see i i my my, my, my spot wasn't sold out what the hell was going on either way it made that money but you know, we saw what happened with the Marvels. And the Marvels, what was that? Totaling almost a half a billion dollar L for Disney. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Like, that's a lot of fucking money, by the way. It's a whole hell of a lot of money. You did show up. You didn't show up. You could have. You didn't show up. So maybe this is uh, not our problem. Maybe it's their problem. And um, yeah, that bubble, I th- I just one last note, because that bubble thing that you mentioned is, is such a great point. And yeah, I think just the way social media is kind of set up and definitely if those that are perpetually online, their view is the only view. Yeah. Right. That exists. So they can't possibly envision a world where people not only don't think like them, but they may think completely to the opposite. And that's their that's their actual view, like worldview uh, per se um, about any some of the major topics. But even it could be as, uh, on something like um, like comics or whatever uh, that we're talking about. And, and and when these types of people enter business, that's where it gets fucked, uh, because these guys trick themselves into believing that their opinion is the opinion and the only opinion. And I think that's why they pile up these ills. I am of the opinion. Yes, I knew that, do think there's ideology involved, right? I, ideology is tricky. It can trick you into believing a lot of things that are not only untrue, but that everybody else also holds that view. But I think it's also, these fools believe this, and this is all that they see. So I do think that there is a at least a substantial amount of people within the ranks of these uh, creative entities that genuinely believe. I know it's hard to believe what us talking about, but they genuinely believe that, let's say, in the writer's room of a Agatha all along, though they did it all for themselves or Acolyte, I do believe that there's people that are like, 
walking away from that project like we knocked it out the park this is going to be a fucking hit <laughs> and it, it might sound stupid to us no because, <laughs> because it's like yeah we're, we're yeah right but you got to understand that these people are entrenched bros if you've actually held conversations with some of these cats this is why they malfunction when they hear something that's opposite or antithetical to their belief system because that's all they've been surrounded around for so long that they can't believe that people like that exist and actually hold those views. So I do believe that there's people that are part of these projects that are plump fools, maybe working in marketing as well, because I don't for once believe that that guy with variety asked that question unprovoked. I don't oh, believe no. it. I, no, I, I he was screened. Mm -hmm. He was screened. That was something that they pushed. It's probably buried in some in, in an email that we'll never see, but he probably got it. Types of questions you should ask. Well, as you up appear on the purple carpet, I heard that this was the gayest mark. Ask about that. So that tells me that y'all are in on it, or at minimum, the marketing team's in on it. And it's like, if we want the viewership, if we want uh, the audience, we need to talk about how gay it is. Even though it might not be technically that, we think that that audience is going to come around and, uh, and and buy into this, even though we've seen it time after time, they don't show up. Um, I know that that reporter I know is gay, right? Okay. So, so here's an interesting thing. He He's there talking about this is the gayest, blah, blah, blah. And he, and he confesses, I, I've seen the first episode. Well, you, you've had the first, first four episodes sent to you as a screener. You know that. So, so why have you only watched one episode? It's, it's because you're not, you're not interested in the show. That's why. Because if you're actually interested in the show, you, you would have watched all four episodes. Now, is he, is he up against the clock? No, he's not. He stands on a fucking red carpet and asks dumb fuck questions that, that pander towards the, the answers which they, they want to feed back into their magazine. This is not a hard fucking job. This, this guy isn't an investigative reporter um, that, that does any of that. No. So, so the likelihood is he's got he's got access to it to at least two, most likely three to four episodes, and he's only watched the first one because that's that's all he, he wanted to do is just watch the first kind of thing, get an idea, because his questions are already predetermined of what he was going to ask. Absolutely, and they're in on it. I think that's important. I don't think that that was shit was just unprovoked. I don't. Well, if it was, I don't believe it. Okay, I just tend to know how some of these things work and generally speaking definitely with something that massive there's going to be your do's and your don'ts thanks for watching be sure to head over to riververse.com to check out our comic book company we have books plenty of merchandise and even some glorious animations from riververse studios 